The following content is not for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. What up, babe? It's, it's your boy, Kino P. And um, I'm just doing this to say happy Mother's Day to all the, uh, the sexy mamas out there. All of them. All of them. Even if you have a dog, you are a dog mama. So you deserve a Mother's Day. Just don't think because the situations in your life that you can't be a mother because a mother is an attitude uh, is a is a uh, is a swag about yourself so anybody can be a mother you know what i'm saying any female can be a mother as long as you take care of what you need to take care of that's that's keenan's quote for the day but today is um um <clears throat> this is the day i take my fork my uh visible fork here and I stick it into some humble pie and I eat it. Because a couple of, well, I guess a few months ago, a couple of months ago, I don't remember how long it's been. I challenged Mr. Dan, uh, Darren Seals uh, to a race. And uh, yeah, that was a bad idea. Because uh, he kicked my total ass. We raced today. We did a little how we did a little uh, Mexico highway driving today, and yeah, I got slaughtered. I got slaughtered, slaughtered. So, due to my bet I had with this young man, I must say, at least I put past the Porsche. You'll see it here, or there. Yeah, that Porsche has got passed, dude. But due to my um, obligated, uh, obligated uh, laws condition, I must do this, and I'm going to do this. Fords are better than Chevys. If you have a Chevy, you like men. So, if you want to be a big time baller, get you a Ford. Nothing is better than a Ford. Nothing. Alright, we got that shit out the way. Um, but Darren, that baby, yeah, that truck's ready, baby. Maybe I would have got him if I don't have the 24s on. Maybe maybe we need to redo it. I, I I need a rematch. When I get my 22s, when I get my 22s, yes, I'm selling the 24s. So if you want the 24s, the uh, starters, uh, come with that 1500, and it's yours. They're yours. 24 inch rims, all yours. They came. They're coming off the Silverado. They can fit Yukon, Sierras, and Tahoes. Other than that, I don't know. They're five lug. They're a five lug pattern or whatever. But yeah, $1,500. They're yours. Bye. Uh, and the only reason why I say $1,500 is because that's how much the 22s cost. And uh, yeah, that's how much the 22s I want cost. So. Yep, I'm redoing the whole truck. The whole truck is getting redone from root to the two. I'm not, I have a crazy paint scheme in my mind, but I'm not worried about it getting painted because I'm getting the tailgate, I'm getting the tailgate handle flip, you know what I'm saying? So it would be the point of repainting the car then I have to go back and take it and get repainted again. So. Y'all know me. I I drove what? I drove Big Bertha. She has 17 colors on her, and I drove her for a whole year before I, I ran a liner. So, you know, I don't care about it. You know, somebody say something, why well, don't get that fixed? Give me the money for it. Oh, you don't want to do that? Okay, you shutting the hell up right now? Oh, all right. And that, and that's all it is. Like, I'm not getting sponsored by anybody. Well, I'm not getting sponsored by anybody. Everything I'm doing is out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not going to move on your timeline. I'm going to move on my timeline. 
That's what, I, I have a falling out with people like that. They work on my truck and then I'd be like, they be working on my truck and they be like, when you gonna come through? When you gonna go through? Listen, dog, I have rent and I have shit to do. I can't just be splurging money on my truck like that. You know what I'm saying? I come through when I can. You know, bills get taken care of first before this truck. I know a lot of people don't believe I do that first, but yeah, I do. Bills get taken care of before anything happens on this truck. So, if that's not okay with you, then fine. I'll just find somebody else that's cool with. Like, I'm sorry that I feel like my, my household bills takes priority over this truck. As long as this truck's moving perfectly fine and I get to point A, point B, and point C all the way to Z, I can care. I, I, the truck could be all banged up all it want to. You know what I'm saying? But it's not going to be banged up because I have, I have to get it. I'm getting it ready. It won't be ready for the summer. I already made my mind up for that. It's not going to be ready for the summer. It's going to be ready for next summer. I don't know. Maybe maybe if I hit the lottery or something, I could probably get it taken care of by the summer. But since it's already the middle of May, shit, this is the middle of May. And um, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but Memorial Day is the official first day of summer for me. That's when all the water parks open. That's when... That's when you can't go outside without smelling some barbecue, you know, you dig. So I don't know how it is going to be this year since everybody's being so weird about this COVID shot. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know how it's going to be. I know I'm not going to be doing a lot of home visits because I don't, really don't want to be fooling with a whole bunch of people that are scared of getting vaccinated because... You get sick for a full day. Okay. It's sick for a day. And then the next day you're perfectly fine. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not going to preach. I'm just not going to do it. If you don't want to get the vaccine, don't get it. But don't, don't complain when we're still in quarantine five and six years out because the state won't open up because they waiting on everybody to get at least, what, 70% vaccinated, 80% vaccinated, and you're, and you're sitting up here crying about sickness and stuff. But yet, when you have a headache, you'll take a pill. When you're sick, you'll take pills. And you don't know what these people, you don't know what these people are doing. You don't know what they're, what's in that pill to you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't get the logic of this. They built them, they made it too fast. <laughs> I don't, I don't get people. I really don't. I don't get people. They complain when everything is social distancing or we got to wear these so stupid masks everywhere. Then you complain when they have a cure. They want to talk about blood clots in people, which is not in people. It's blood clots in women that are 18 to 40. And they took it off the shelf. They took it off to say, hey, we know that these six women took the Johnson & Johnson uh, vaccine and they got sick. So before it becomes a major thing, we're going to take it off, refigure it, and then come back to the come back with the combat, which they did. Like I, I applaud them for doing that. They they seen something, six people, and the only thing they had in common was they took the Johnson and Johnson thing. So they took it off the market, they worked it out, they fixed it, and. And people want to, people want to criticize them for that. It was six people. It wasn't a mass of people. And it is amazing, amazing how people will complain about those six people 
I'm not sure if they died if they if they if some of them died I apologize for this comment but six people versus four hundred thousand people what five hundred thousand people that's how many people died because of corona that's that's five hundred and thousand mothers that couldn't get up today and get a happy mother day from their kids and y'all complaining about something that the company itself itself said hey six people is too much let's take it off the let's take it off the uh, off the thing and then we're going to rework it and put it back and y'all complain about that y'all don't want to get the shot because those six people it happened too soon motherfucker they was talking about they was talking about coronavirus when Bush second was in office. Coronavirus. This is this is nothing new, bruh. Tr uh, not Trump. Um, Obama was talking about coronavirus. A pandemic. Not if it comes, when it comes. I hate to tell y'all this, um, you non-vaxxers. But there's a lot of things that the government keeps away from citizens. There's a lot of things they just don't divulge from us. Everybody talks about Area 51, but they don't understand that there's places all around the United States that are blacklisted, that are not on the map, that you can't go to, that if that they feel funny if you look at the gate. So you don't think you don't think that they don't have something like that with cures and, and all that shit? Think about it. And I can understand if I would be more more paranoid if it was just for black people. If only black people got corona. I'd be more paranoid if only Mexicans got corona. I'd be more paranoid if only uh, white people got corona. Asian people got corona. Everybody getting this shit, and then and then and then they're making a, a a vaccine for everybody. So they want to kill everybody. You telling me billionaires want to kill everybody? Oh, well they give they give the rich people. No, nah, I want to hear that shit. You're oh my god, people are driving like Sunday. Oh, it is Sunday. You're telling me that these multi-billionaire people and, and mind you if you die I die everybody dies in this world money don't mean shit money is just toilet paper at that point I don't I don't, I don't, I don't know why people don't get that part if me and you die everybody in this world die that's that's not a millionaire money won't mean shit money won't mean nothing it won't be anything. Million, it would just be. It would just be paper. It would be like the um, Russian Revolution, when their when their money was nothing. Well, people used their money as wallpaper, because it didn't mean nothing. Believe it or not, all of us matter for certain other reasons. You think billionaires were gonna be? You think billionaires gonna actually? You, no, no, not million. Do you think millionaires will actually start flipping hamburgers for billionaires? Do you think billionaires will actually pay the salary of a millionaire to flip a hamburger? You think it's bad now? You get a motherfucker that's making seven figures, seven figures a year. You tell them to go, they had to flip burgers. You know how much that burger's gonna cost them? Forty-five thousand dollars off the rip. A, a Big Mac will be like a Big Mac will actually be big. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no. We are the reason why you can go to McDonald's and get a 99 cent hamburger. We are the reason why you can go to Lowe's and Renaissance Center and all that shit. I hate to say it, but yeah, we are the reason. If you if if Oprah had 
if Oprah had um, J.R. Smith doing everything, J.R. Smith is going to run a rack up. And that's what people don't understand about money. It, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I just, I hate that. I hate that talking point that the rich people have got the better, got the better uh, serum vaccine than us poor people. How fucking stupid does that sound? You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. I was scared of taking it, but I took it. I'm fully vaccinated. Well, 95% vaccinated. And this is something, and this is another thing that they say that um, they don't want to do because the 95%, you can still get it if you get fully vaccinated. They never said she was going to be 100% vaccinated, uh, cured of it anyway. But I'd rather be 95% covered than 5% covered. Just imagine, if somebody told you, I give you $95 to walk to the gate, or I give you $5 just to put your feet on the ground. Some of you lazy motherfuckers are just like, you give me that $5. But me, I'm getting, I'm walking to that gate getting that, $9, that $95. i am sorry. Fuck that $5. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't, People don't need. People just need to understand. Without everybody, without everybody being doing what they need to do, we're never gonna be back to normal. Don't ain't y'all tired of having to wear these damn things all the fucking time? Aren't y'all tired of not knowing if you can, not knowing if you can go here or go there? Not being comfortable on an airplane because you got to wear a mask all the fucking time. Not being able to have, like, food on an airplane because COVID mandates and all this shit. Aren't y'all tired of that shit? Or y'all just love this shit? And I used to make, I used to say nobody wants to get the vaccine because everybody wants a stimulus check. But come on, man. Come on, man. Stop the shit. Nobody wants the stimulus. Nobody wants the vaccine because they don't want to go back to work. And yeah, y'all getting three hundred dollars, three hundred dollars a week, but that shit's gonna stop, bro. What you gonna do when all that, all that stimulus and all that aid money stops? Cause you think, you think the motherfuckers gonna keep doing this shit over and over again? You think you're gonna be able to get paid sitting at the house? You got paid for sitting at the house for a year. You think they gonna keep on doing that shit? You sadly mistaken, bro. You sadly mistaken, man. Cause soon, soon as, soon as I bet you, soon as one states pull out, all the states gonna pull out, and you're gonna start seeing it on your news. Texas pull out of the stimulus protection program. Arkansas pulled out. Arkansas already, Arkansas already pulled out. Uh, I think at the June, June first, they're not gonna do the three hundred dollars a week. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to do it. They already pulled out. I mean, you got to think, all these Republicans, all these Republican-run states, Arkansas is one of them, Texas is one of them, pretty much every state in the South, all they worried about is their, their backers. They're not worried about me or you. They're not worried about me and you. They can't be worried about me and you because they were worried about us. They would have... Uh, when we when we was in the thick of things, they wouldn't have said, "No, nah, they don't need stimulus check." We had to beg and plead for six hundred funky ass dollars. Now, Bank of America uh, needed needed a bailout. We gave them six hundred billion dollars. <coughs> Ford and Chevy and Dodge, all these all these multi billion dollar companies. When they needed bailout, we gave them billions on top of billions of dollars. Well, we need to bail out. They was trying about six hundred dollars, fourteen hundred dollars. Now, show of hands. How long? Now, show of hands. Did that fourteen dollars last you a whole week? I'm gonna be real one hundred with you. That fourteen hundred dollars lasts me about two days. That six hundred dollars lasts me about a day. 
And they was crying about that. So just imagine how they feel about y'all sitting on the couch all day, not doing nothing, but watching TV and collecting money. That's the shit they doing. They don't want to be on the same level, you pro-ass motherfuckers. Are you serious? So hell yeah, they looking the best, the best way to get out. And then now that, <coughs> now that the world's halfway Democrat, oh hell no, that's we're not trying to help the Democrats out. And anybody is saying, uh, anybody is saying that uh, pop whatever that pop uh, whatever bar, partisan bullshit, that shit ain't real. Republicans don't want to help. Republicans don't want to help Democrats because we voted. Uh, not we. I'm independent. But Democrats voted out Trump, and then they try to get him blocked up. And you know, Trump is God to Republicans. Trump is God, the Cheeto God, the Cheeto dust God. That's what Trump is. And so you, so you know, already know they coming. They salty as a motherfucker. And you think they're trying to do? Sh- Y'all better get real. They about to start pulling shit left and right. They already trying to make it hard for y'all. Um, they already trying to make it hard for people to vote. Because they already see, oh, if we let them vote, they're going to vote for their, they're going to vote for their interests. They're not going to vote for ours. So well, let's make it hard. You know, here here in a little bit, it's going to be, they're going to have polling, uh, polling stations on top of mountains. Where you have to climb to get to that motherfucker. Oh, you can't climb to get it? Oh, that means you can't vote. Sorry, boo-boo. Yeah. Y'all fooling yourself, man. Y'all need to start getting real about life, man. This is this is this is not a game. This is a game to them. Cause they straight. This is a game to them. They're billionaires. They millionaires. Why you think most rich people are Republicans? And laughing at you dumb, dumb, poor Republicans. <laughs> they don't even know what the fuck we're doing. All we gotta say is thank you, Jesus, and they're all on our side. They laughing, they laughing at you, bro. They laughing at you, dumbasses. But I'm not here to switch sides. If you want to be Republican, be Republican. If you want to be Democrat, be Democrat. If you want to be a monkey, be a monkey. If you want to be an elephant, be an elephant. I don't care. I just want everybody to get vaccinated. But we can go back to a normalcy. Whatever the fuck that is. Some type of normalcy. For, I, for we will not have to go into the store and have to count people that's in your family group because... They can't sit full capacity. Where we where we can where we can go to a funeral and actually be around loved ones, where we don't have to be social distancing and have a mask on because of COVID restrictions. I don't know. I don't know. I just know I'm tired. And I have nothing against Eddie Griffin. He's part, he's one of my favorite comics <coughs> of all times. I love the man, but you can't make a decision on somebody else's opinion. Don't even make a decision. Don't even make a decision on my opinion. Do your research. Look around. Then then form your own opinion. And if your opinion says, I don't want to get vaccinated, then by all means, don't do it. But don't bitch and complain and, and get all out your mind where this is the norm. Where we have to go around like we're in Japan with gas masks on. Don't complain then. Because you had a chance to actually change it. They're having a new strand coming out. And people. That, that is killing people faster than the original COVID was doing. And you, and you want to risk your life? Because you're scared of get, being sick for one day? I don't know. But I'm gone.